into that summertime stretch, so a lot of these fish, oh man, so a lot of the fish are pulling out on these steeper, deeper grass edges, and this is where they're gonna spend most of their summertime. And basically, all I'm doing is finding the grass that comes out the farthest and concentrating on those areas because they're high percentage areas, the fish are gonna use them and move around on them a lot. Now the cool thing with this technique is I'm actually working it towards the boat. I'm not just casting it out, letting it sink and then making another cast. I'm actually working it down the grass towards, towards me. Oh, I just had a bite. Working it towards me because I'm covering the depleting edge, it's not a stark edge, it's depleting, it's gradually going down. There we go, man alive, I had to wait for that thing to fall off that grass edge, and that fish, it just got heavy. That's all it did was get heavy, and here's the thing, on this flick shake rig, a lot of guys have the idea that you only catch small bass with it, but that's not entirely true. That's not terrible. Come over here. That's not too bad. But that's what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm feathering it down those grass edges. And when I pull the rod, the whole key, keep the rod up, let the bait fall. Bring it up, let the bait fall. As that grass stair steps down, your bait's walking down the steps with it. It's a very subtle presentation and the fish can't resist it. And this five inch dinger on this flick shake is just, it's just money. There we go. You know, the important thing about this setup is how I have this thing rigged up. And, and what I have is I've got 10 pound braid as my main line, and I've got an eight pound fluorocarbon leader. And about, you know, maybe 18 inches above my 18 inches above my flick shake head, I have a swivel, a micro swivel. Um, I do that because it helps eliminate excessive line twist, but the key really is the, is the 10 pound braid to the eight pound fluorocarbon. That gives you great sensitivity, plus the 10 pound braid is so super thin that it lets that bait fall naturally. And as it falls, the legs on the yum dinger move kind of wildly and the dinger swings because of the weight on it. It's really a, it's a really neat deal, but I found that the braided line really helps that because of the thinness of it. And the lack of stretch gives you the ability to lean in on the fish instead of reeling down and cracking them, which you don't want to do with a flick shake head. There we go, that's a good one. <laughs> Did you see that fish jump like that? So here we are. We're, remember, clear northern grass lakes, tapering weed edges, flick shake, five inch yum dinger. And you could take care of business all day long on these lakes, even in the dog days of summer. Oh, this just never gets old. It just never gets old. <laughs>